Welcome to the third video in our Completing Patterns series. This video will introduce the different rules that patterns can follow. These rules are complex, but each rule will be explained in detail and examples will be provided as we go along. In the last video, we saw that patterns can contain different elements. In addition, the patterns may follow certain rules. There are four rules that patterns can follow. Rotation, addition or subtraction, total or complete addition, and mirroring. Next, we will examine these rules in detail using examples. Let's start with the first rule, rotation. This pattern is different from those we've looked at before. We can't easily apply the all the same, all different, and the same different same rules, but we can see that the rotation changes regularly in the same way from field to field. If you look at how the arrows change from square to square or left to right, you'll notice that they each rotate 45 degrees counterclockwise. You will find the same pattern within the columns, such as from top to bottom. Can you figure out what goes in the empty field? The empty space must have an arrow pointing down. You can determine this by rotating the arrow to the left of the empty field and the arrow above the empty field by 45 degrees counterclockwise. In this example, we added a second element, amount. To solve this pattern, we need to analyze both the patterns of the arrows as well as the amount of stars. We can further divide this pattern into rows and columns. Let's start with the arrows. As before, they rotate 45 degrees counterclockwise within the rows from left to right and the columns from top to bottom. Next, let's look at the stars. The number of stars remains the same within the columns from top to bottom and increases by one along the rows, going from one to two to three as we move from left to right. Can you determine what goes in the empty field? The empty field must be filled with an arrow pointing down and three stars. You've probably noticed that in this example, it was helpful to break down the pattern into individual elements, in this case, arrows and stars, and to further look at each element by columns and rows. In other cases, it can be helpful to look at all the elements together to see how they build on one another. Let's start with an example. Have a look and try to figure out what goes in the empty space. The answer is a circle with three dots. This is an example of a pattern that adds up within a row. This means that the elements from the first two fields are added together to give the sum of the third field. In this example, the addition goes from left to right or within rows. Let's look at another example. Can you complete the pattern here as well? Here, a square with a single dot inside must go in the empty space. To solve this question, it is important to realize that the pattern is vertical and follows an additive pattern from top to bottom, not left to right. The elements of the top two panels are added together to make the third panel below. Just as patterns can be added, patterns can also be subtracted. Let's take a look at the third example. Can you guess what goes in the empty field? In this case, the pattern is subtracted across the rows. Within a row, 
The items in the second or middle box are subtracted from the items in the first box to the left. The empty field should have a star in each of the top two corners and an arrow pointing up, as these are the elements from the first field which are not repeated in the second field. Therefore, they are not subtracted and must remain in the third field. Now let's look at a slightly different example. This pattern also uses subtraction along the rows. The items in the second or middle box are not subtracted from the first box to the left. The elements from the first box that do not appear in the second box are the ones that we can assign to the third box. Now it's your turn to try and fill in the empty field. Here you can see how the pattern must be completed. Now we will look at patterns which are formed by adding all three boxes of a row or column. Therefore, the form in which they are all assembled is not presented. You must imagine it. This can be complicated. We will go through several examples to get an idea of how to complete these patterns. It can also be helpful to draw these examples out on a piece of paper. Have a look at the first example as provided. In this example, a rectangle is built by going down the boxes in each column. You have to imagine that within each column, the elements from the first, second, and third field are added to one another. Can you complete the missing field in the pattern? The empty field must be filled in as shown. Let's look at another more complicated example. This example is very difficult, but practicing hard examples will help you on the test day. Take a minute to try and fill in the empty field. Here you can see what belongs in the empty field. The elements from all columns give us the overall shape that we can see. Now let's look at the last rule. Another way to create patterns is mirroring. These patterns can be difficult to see. Two panels will be mirrored images of each other and the third panel is simply the shape with no modification added. Let's take a closer look at this example. Inside each column is an empty parallelogram. The two remaining parallelograms are mirror images of each other. In the first column, the first parallelogram is reflected across the horizontal plane to derive the third parallelogram. The empty parallelogram is in the last square. In the center column, the first and third parallelograms are mirrored images of each other. Therefore, the empty parallelogram has to be in the second middle field. Can you complete the pattern? In the third column, the empty parallelogram goes in the first box, which means that the empty square must be a mirrored image of the second square. Option B is the correct answer. Here is a brief summary of the key aspects we looked at. We have seen that elements can rotate within a pattern and that they can rotate with the same amount per column or row. We have considered patterns that are added or subtracted along a row or column. We also saw that the elements from the second or middle field can either be added to or subtracted from the items in the first box to the left. And, as seen in the last example, elements can also be mirrored. Finally, 
Here are a few tips to help you during your practice and exam day. First, familiarize yourself with the rules discussed. You can watch the videos as many times as you want. Second, practice complex examples to be well prepared on the exam day. Third, remember to try to work quickly and carefully with this type of task. Finally, if you do get stuck, try to make an intelligent guess.